demonstration of success and, and progress is depends on where you are within the life cycle of your own function. Um, obviously, when you start out, you probably have regular monthly reporting into your own management, into your line management, uh, into an IT asset steering committee, and possibly even up into the executive management. Um, once they then have the faith and trust in you, um, those IT asset management meetings become less frequent, um, but then there will be reporting that you need to do up to an IT board, which has to be very succinct um, and on the button, showing where the risks are and how the trending of those risks is changing on a monthly basis or a quarterly basis, however frequently you report. Um, reporting, obviously, within your own team is something that you have to focus on because there are issues that you're trying to deal with. Um, but I think when you look at it, you have to evaluate what each of your stakeholders wants with, from the reporting mechanisms that come out. And stakeholders aren't necessarily just those management levels above you. Stakeholders are also the partners in the other functions that you work with. So if, for example, maybe IT security are trying to make sure that um, they minimise the risks um, with particular pieces of software, maybe it's um, uh, Internet Explorer, um, they're trying to make sure that they have the latest versions deployed. You can produce a monthly report of the IE estate and pass it on to them. That's critical for them. It's a very simple report, but it's critical to them. Maybe it's something about the architecture team wanting to standardise software products, um, and they would want you to be able to show that decommissioning of the old products is successfully being taken by proving the removal of the software from the devices rather than just somebody reporting that yes it's been done. As you become successful and start to resolve some of the issues, obviously you need to expand into further areas of investigation um, and I think the way that you then leverage further investment from management is by continually demonstrating your ability to improve um, continually reducing the risks, um, whether that be through hardware uh, management or especially through software management, and uh, obviously, most importantly, by cost reductions, whether that's recycling and reharvesting of unused software, so reducing the necessity to buy additional licenses, or whether it is just a case of being able to reduce maintenance, or whether it's a case.